Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're diving into some really exciting news for Linux enthusiasts. We've got a fresh release on our hands. Slackware based Port UX 2.0 is out now. So what's new with Port UX 2.0? Well, this portable Linux distro is based on Slackware Linux and draws inspiration from Slacks and Porteus. It's designed to be small, fast, portable, modular, and um, even immutable. And guess what? is powered by the latest Linux 6.14 kernel series. One of the big highlights of this release is the GNOME edition, which now comes with GNOME 48. And for those of you who love experimenting, Portux 2.0 also introduces experimental Wayland sessions for the Cinnamon, LXQT, and XFCE editions. Just a heads up, if you want to test out Wayland, simply log out and select the Wayland session from the top right icon at the login screen. But remember, these sessions are still experimental, especially for LXQT and XFC, which are using the LabBDV compositor, meaning Wayland won't work if you are running it in VirtualBox. There's more good stuff in this release. Port2x 2.0 now supports the Light DM Display Manager and Greeter for the Cinnamon, LXDE, LXQT, Mate, and XFCE editions. Plus, for the Cinnamon Edition, the Advaita cursor theme is set as default to fix those missing cursor issues when running under Wayland. And for KDE fans, the KDE Plasma Edition has been updated to version 6.3.3. But wait, there's even more. This update improves the 001 core stripping process, fixes an issue with application icons not showing in an open box session, and even enhances Clang compatibility in the kernel build script. They've added CPU instruction detection in the installer, warning you if your system doesn't meet the SSE4 requirement. And many packages have been updated while some unnecessary ones have been removed. So it's a pretty comprehensive update. If you want to get your hands on Portux 2.0, you can check out the release notes and download it directly from the project's GitHub page. It's available in multiple editions, including KDE Plasma, GNOME, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, LXQT, and LXDE all based on both Slackware Stable and Slackware Current Flavors. All right, that's the scoop on Port2x 2.0. If you enjoyed this update, hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux news, and drop a comment below if you've tried it or plan to. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.